wearing my mom's top. This is my mom's top. She gave it to me. Let me show you guys how I look. I look like some cowgirl. doing electrical engineering and for again for those of you that don't know i hate saying this because why do you not know why haven't you watched my other videos should we give you a moment to go back and watch my first video up to now so that we don't have to keep updating you all the time <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding for those of you that do not know i took a little of absence from school guys now that i've, I've gained a bit of weight I know I'm saying a bit, but it's my weight. I can say whatever I want. Now that I've gained a bit of weight, I bite my tongue. I bite this inner part of my mouth a lot. It makes it so difficult for me to talk. <laughs> yep, I digress. For those of you that don't know, I took a leave of absence from school. Um, I was doing electrical engineering and for the trimester before the previous one yes yes the trimester before the previous one uh, because I was not in a good headspace so last trimester I decided to keep myself busy with other things and other things being getting my women's license by the way I'm yet to update you on that one this video is not about that um, yeah I did my women's license last trimester and then this trimester my sister and i decided girl go back to school and here we are i am back at school it has been two weeks already and i think i'm going to enjoy it i know two weeks is a lot two weeks is a lot me two weeks out of ten is basically a lot and by now i should be able to say to you i'm enjoying school or oh, i'm not enjoying school but i have been taking it easy on myself i am slowly adjusting back to the life of being a student it's so hard at my big age hey it's so hard you need to pay extra attention be focused but more than the other people because i'm 2000 so imagine like, and the extra focus na se class thing <laughs> I have to go. Ne ne ne. You will go for mission. Ne healthy habits. Go because galo when I have two thousand. In in on the apple for you to focus. You need to eat well. You need to drink a lot of water. You need to exercise. Go yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot, but it's doable, guys. Because you can see here I am, and I am at school. But I'll keep on updating you guys, and. Um, Oh, another thing that I wanted to talk about was how I want to start making vlogs. Okay. The plan for the vlog is to show you guys the reality side of things. Yes, I am back at school, but it's not all roses. You know. So this idea came about when I had a conversation with my friend and she was telling me about her other friend who decided at a very big age not so big but at, at a big age to go back to school she went to do this course that was considered really difficult she failed her first year so when she went back the second year she was told my darling you are wasting your time this course is difficult so many people failing and drop out just go do something else and she said no i'm doing this she continued to do it she passed uh the second time and she continued to finish her degree, um, her postgrad, and she did her master's. She went through a lot because she even felt pregnant along the way. There was a lot happening. And I don't know, that story just sort of encouraged me. I didn't ask permission to share the story, which is why I'm not giving you guys all the details. It sort of encouraged me and I thought, if we had, you know, people... Like, in fact, I even said it to my friend that people 
like your friend are the people that we need to share their stories on social um, media or on public platforms because if we had such people I think there wouldn't be depression okay maybe but hear me out we tend to think that when things happen to us we feel like it feels like when something happens to you now i'm going to tell you guys from experience it feels like you're the first person to ever have this thing happen to you it feels like there's no way out of this which i believe that's how people get suicidal thoughts and that's how people get to eventually kill themselves but if we had people it does not even have to be people with big stories people with phds with people who have a lot of money billionaires or people with successful full businesses no just an ordinary person who has made it to the next level because i think another thing that kills us is we think phd but when i haven't started i work at the diploma i and then you end up giving yourself a lot of pressure and from that you get depressed and then you face struggles and you think no i'm never getting out of this and if you have people who have just made it to the next level also okay yes i do want that phd but to finish this diploma let me do this 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 and that every day yes i came across in Tlambi, to have someone who says yes i came across this but this is how i handled it or this is how i dealt with it um yes your way of dealing with things may not be the same may not work for me but the fact that you came out of whatever situation you were in gives me hope in negative maloba i'm also going to get through this Yes, I may not get out of it the way that you got out of it, but knowing that I'm also going to try my best to get out of it. So if we had such people, it, it, it would I think it would minimize the rate of suicide in our countries. I think it, it, it really would. So I decided to um, start making vlogs. And then just show you the reality of Umzekelo. I walk to school for like 10 kilometers every day. So if someone sees my story and sees me um, walking every day, they will be encouraged to consider going back to school. Because you could find that there are people who are thinking, your school is too far, school is 8 kilometers away. But when they see someone who walks 10 kilometers to school, they might just want to try it they might just want to you know but it's encouraging I, I don't know about you guys but it's encouraging for me to see about how do other people make it in life and not just make it how do other people get through struggles get through difficulties it gives me hope your back i'm an your Pumega is doing. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm going to. I know vlogging is very hard, but I'm going to try my best to. Uba DNs and let you DNs and Uba having these vlogs to serve the purpose and funa to serve. Also, okay, the funa because well, because probably not going to be that side every day to show, but I'm going to show is I'm going to try and have something that's encouraging for each and every vlog that i make yeah and also the vlogs will be about showing you guys the facilities uh the college that i am in um for those of you that ne that have never been to ticket colleges just to have an idea what it looks like and how things are done and um yeah that's it that is it i've said quite a lot hey i wanted this video to be at least five minutes but it looks like we are at almost 10 now so if you're not subscribed please please subscribe i'm begging you i'm begging you please subscribe uh thank you so much to everyone who is subscribed by the way guys yeah 
I saw one of my subscribers at at school and yeah, I have never I have never seen it was the first time meeting a subscriber and I was dumbstruck. I was I didn't even get his name. I didn't even you know after after that moment I wished I I could I wish I could have spoken had a conversation but okay what's your name what are you doing and whatnot if you're watching this video i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um i just didn't know what to do it was my first time ever believe it or not and guys i'm not a bad person i'm i'm, I'm i'd like to believe i'm a nice person so if you do see me i promise i'm going to do better next time if you do see me anywhere anywhere um please come say hi come have a conversation with me and ask me whatever you have always wished to ask me in person and um, i promise i'm not gonna be weird <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video thank you for making time to watch the video from me to you right now it is goodbye i will see you on my next video take care <laughs>